course, National Geographic should celebrate the 200th anniversary of Darwin's birth. Darwin is arguably the most important thinker who ever lived. One would um, put, up, put him up with Einstein, with Newton, with Galileo. He, he's up there. We once thought we were, were the pinnacle of, of creation made in God's image. We now know that we are cousins of 10 million other species, perhaps a billion other species if you count all the ones that have gone extinct. We are a tiny twig in a vast bush. There's nothing special about us in terms of the order of creation. There are various special things about us, like we're cleverer than other, other species and we have language. Um, but nevertheless, we are just cousins of all other living creatures. Darwin told us why we exist, and that's not an easy question to answer, because it's not just us, it's all living things, and that means everything complicated, because the living world is staggeringly complex, staggeringly improbable unless you understand where it came from. It looks as though it's been designed. Everybody thought it was designed. Darwin showed that it wasn't. That's the importance of Darwin. The human race has had a number of, of humiliations in a way. I mean, we, we discovered from Copernicus, Galileo, that the world is not the center of the universe. And now we know that even the galaxy that we're in is not the center of the universe, let alone the solar system. Darwin did the same thing for, for us, for living creatures. Darwin has caused possibly the biggest revolution in humanity's ideas of its own nature.